Now, I think it's fair to say, besides LaMelo Ball, Zion Williamson is the most well-known and most watched high school player in the country. His freakish athleticism and high-flying dunks even caught the attention of Drake. But does Zion have the potential to be an NBA star, or will he fizzle out once he starts playing with people just as athletic and strong as him? Let's take a look at his strengths and weaknesses in this breakdown. Okay, so first off, it must be known that Zion is a damn bully at the high school level. In transition, he's nearly unstoppable. The 6'7", 230 pound Ford is literally a man amongst boys every time he steps on the court. Now, will he keep this up in college? That remains to be seen. Personally, with his superb athleticism and NBA size, I don't see why not. But right now, Zion can get to the rim virtually whenever he wants, and nobody at the high school level can do anything about it. Now, what surprised me with Zion's game is his unselfishness. Besides his point guard, Shannon Lindsay, he doesn't really have much talent on his team. But Zion actually threw some pretty nice dimes to his teammates and showed a lot of signs of unselfishness, which I think is very, very impressive. Because once Zion gets to college, he's going to face a lot of double teams, maybe even triple teams. So this ability to pass the ball out and kick it to the open man will translate very well to the next level and will make him even more of a playmaker. Another thing that Zion does extremely well is crashing the boards. He's very, very aggressive on the offensive boards. He never gives up. And every time the ball goes up in the air, you can always count on Zion to be there, ready to rebound and finish strong. He's far from a lazy player, and any coach in America will love this tenacity. Now you can probably guess what his main weakness is, and it has to be shooting the ball. From the games that I watched and broke down, Zion shot a very, very low 27% from three. Right now, he's such a freak of nature so it doesn't really hinder him at the high school level that he can't shoot. But once he starts going up against the athletes at the next level, that bully ball won't work as much. So he has to develop a jumper. And also it wouldn't hurt him to tighten up his handle. Now actually for his size, he could handle the ball pretty decent. He has pretty solid bar control for a 6'7 forward. But if he can tighten up that handle just a tad, then he's really going to cause defense's headaches. Now, the final verdict on Zion. I think it's clear to see that Zion is a once in a generation type physical specimen. We haven't seen somebody his size with this much explosiveness since LeBron James. But Zion lacks the IQ, ball handling ability, and just natural feel for the game that LeBron had at this age. So these comparisons need to absolutely stop. Zion is his own unique player, and he definitely has a future to be an NBA pro. But what will make him the NBA star that he wants to be is developing a jumper. Once Zion adds a respectable jumper in his game, it's hard for me to believe Zion won't become a future NBA star.